If you haven't got problems, I feel bad for your son. I got 99 problems and a bitch ain't one. Hey, welcome everybody to Excelsior Gaming. This is episode, as I recall, 14, Excelsior Gaming War Journal. I'm Damien Harmony, and with me as always is my esteemable partner. Hi, Ian McDonald here, doing not much, but yeah, having fun, having you fun. Bring, you... Yeah, damn right, damn right. Uh, great, so, uh, you know, I was just talking to you before we started the show, and it appears to me that there's a new milestone uh, that that is of interest, uh, and it looks I don't know a little attainable for me. Um, so hey, Ian, what is a cosmic essence milestone, my friend? Oh, cosmic essence milestones. Uh, they're full of some good stuff, some really good stuff. Um, mm -hmm. You just sort of basically get them by opening orbs. Um, but how do you attain those orbs? One may ask. Um, well, you can Indeed. spend war credits you can basically it's basically anything in the game um like you see all these things bonus 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 mm -hmm. that is basically you get the, the elite or the cosmic credit things by just playing the game by spending Fantastic. your normal energy by spending some war store energy as we were talking about last week mm -hmm. um and that sort of builds up your credits um, and you're able to open up the orbs that are somewhere down here, celestial orbs. Yeah, I saw some dark orbs. matter as a as a new currency. Um, as a new currency. Well, mm -hmm. to get these orbs anyway, it's certainly it's a it's a kind of limited time currency. Oh, well. okay. Um, I forgot to pause my washing machine. All right. <laughs> That's all right. Not a great it's, stream, it's... but at least I'll have clean clothes. Exactly. It's great. It's building tension. You know what this is? This is like in the, in the movie Dunkirk, how they just had mm. kind of like ascending adjacent chords. It's the same thing. <laughs> building up to a, a crescendo of me opening up something and getting fucking five nebula. It's fantastic. Yeah. Um, it's like I mean, losing these, a sock. These orbs, I mean, they kinda, these cater basically for any sort mm -hmm. of level in the game. I mean, myself, I'm going for the, the ones that take 800 credits to open. Over here, you've got all the, um, the gear tier 15, well, possibility oh. at them. Um, you don't get too many of them. But, okay. um, but if you're needing purple gear or you're needing blue gear, there's, they're ones that kind of cost less, so you'll get more. Oh. Um, but the good okay. sort of thing, if you like, with um, each of the orbs is mm -hmm. that on the, I think it's the left-hand pillar, Mm -hmm. Each of them, whether it's the blue one that costs 300 or the orange mm -hmm. one that costs 800, you get the same chance of getting 150 mega orbs, yes, or nice. gold or uh, training mats, but it's the mega orbs you want, because there was a, um, an event like this, and mm -hmm. it was a good few months ago, um, that basically all the other rewards were rubbish, like mm -hmm. for everyone across the board. Um, so everyone just opened, like from beginner players to end game players, just opened the blue ones, the easy ones, mm -hmm. because they wanted these um, higher chances of the of the mega orbs. Um, but they've sort of seemed to have sorted that out just now, and you can sort of get um, rewards that are kind of oh, fantastic. Basically, go along with what you're what you're supposed to have, kind of. I like it. I like it. So I have been trying to get more and more purple gear, and I've noticed through these orbs that I have been able to get uh, almost all my mystical folk up uh, to several tiers higher. Uh, Loki is now approaching gear uh, tier 12. Uh, Hela is, is within a hair's breadth of tier 12. Uh, Wanda uh, Scarlet Witch is, right. is at tier 12 now as a result. So definitely appreciative of these uh, these new orbs. Um, now, this is obviously tied to the Silver well, Surfer stuff. Well, you'd think, but it's not really. I mean, there is no sort of mention of Silver Surfer or anything like that within the orbs. I mean, he's there. Okay. You can see him. He's all over the, the orb artwork. But 
I mean, if you go mm -hmm. through all the the rewards, there's absolutely nothing to do with Silver Surfer there at all. Um, he's supposed huh. to be tied, I think, as if, if rumours are to be believed, the um, the strike pass that's mm -hmm. coming up. Um, no one really knows for uh -huh. certain what that is. There's been plenty of speculation about it, but um, that just basically free to play players. If you can sort of hit your daily objectives, mm -hmm. you'll get a two star um, Silver Surfer. No yeah, kidding. If you're just free to play, you I don't like spend that. a penny. As long as you, you obviously have to sort of like do your <laughs> do your dailies and all that sort of stuff. But I mean, mine's is only yeah. three stars, and right. he is um, he's taking names. Let me tell you that, Damon. He's taking yeah. some names. Boy, howdy! Yeah. Hey, what did you put at his ISO at? What is his ISO? Well, his ISO it was either going to be. I was torn between two. I ended up with striker. Okay. Um, okay, that makes sense. Basically, given what I know of him as a because character. Because of this, um, he attacks the target for two hundred and eighty percent piercing. So piercing mm -hmm. damage is a lot better than just like, normal damage, if you like, and um, because it doesn't mm -hmm. matter the armor that the that the opponent has, like the likes of who's got high armor. Um, Cull, mm -hmm. Obsidian, um, Rhino I think is quite high as well, um, Colossus, mm -hmm. sometimes they can resist moves, but Piercing is just going to go right through that and it doesn't matter what their armour is, nice. and that'll, and for the Striker thing, that's a double tap, if they've got the, the little purple Raider Skirmisher right. vulnerable on them, so that's what I went for, um, I've heard other people have okay. went for Healer, because mm -hmm. I think it's on his Passive on turn. Is yeah, on, that, on any turn, yep. heal for five percent of this character's max health. Not his turn. On anyone's turn. Right. Any so turn. He's got that healer. He's kind of putting that out there as well, and he's gaining himself up a lot more, a lot more health. So he's kind of unkillable. But again, I've painted myself into a corner because I've got him at five um, ISO bars. Sure. Um, and as we've discussed on the videos that are on the YouTube channel when it comes to ISOs, mm -hmm. um, if I did want to change that to healer, I would have to start all over, over again. He's went from 92 down to what, 80 something, I think that was. And I would have to spend all these ISO monies, ISO monies um, on bringing them up. So what's that? 20, 45, 95,000. To bring him up to a healer, I don't mm. know. Maybe it's maybe it's worth it. I don't know. Might, um, might be worth it. So what I like about that is a couple things. Number one, uh, you know, I'm a sucker for the actual comics, and in other video games, he has always had a heal everybody kind of ability. Right. Um, which which is kind of nice that they're sticking with that on some level. Like mm. I played um, just recently with my child. Uh, I played. Uh, Ultimate Alliance, the one from before my son was born, I played this game with him, um, and you know I made sure that he was in the party so that I could heal my son all the time because he just goes and smashes and bashes, mm -hmm. doesn't really think about his health bar. Uh, so I like that uh, he's doing that. The other thing though that I notice is that the currency is called Dark Force. Is that correct? Uh, for for the for the oh, for uh, the event the, the yeah Dark Matter. Oh, Sorry. Um, so the the actual matter in the orbs is I'm trying to trying to find it myself. But uh, when you're able to spend, there we go. Okay. Uh, dark matter. Oh, celestial orb. Um, I need to have. So how many of those have you got? If you're kind on of, it, okay. Uh, cosmic essence. Okay. Cosmic essence. So the cosmic essence. For some reason, I had it down as dark matter. All right. So cosmic essence uh, absolutely comes from his ability to heal mm. and help other people as well. So it does seem still yeah. to be tied to him. Um, it makes me wonder if they're not gearing up for a Galactus or for more of the heralds yeah. of Galactus. I mean, that would be a fun team right there. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know if you know any of the Heralds of Galactus. They're not nearly as cool as Silver Surfer, but they're, 
you know, very much Jack Kirby uh, thinking right. about the elements. Uh, well, I mean, if anyone's watching, let us know in the comments. I mean, who do you want to see in the game? The, right. the Heralds of Galactus. Let us know. Let us know who you want to see. Um, I mean, is there anyone that you particularly want to see? Tony Bing, right now, we'll come. Come on, give us a give us a comment on stream. <laughs> can you hear me, Damien? I Good. can so hear you. Yes. You want to see on? Um, I still want, want to see, see the new warriors. warriors. I do. I think that would be a hell of a team. They're fun. Uh, you can, I mean, first off, it would bring in the character Nova, the Richard Ryder Nova, which I think is criminal that they have not brought him in yet. But given that they just brought in yet another cosmic guy, mm -hmm. I'm hopeful that we will run into Richard Ryder Nova because uh, then you could run the entire, you could do the whole event of, of the Annihilation Wave. You could bring right. in Annihilus. You could bring in... Um, you could bring in uh, what the, the annihilation, the plague uh, that they bring about. You could like make a Ultron uh, who does that. You could bring in Warlock. I mean, there's there's a lot of cool characters you could bring in for that. But if you bring in Nova, then you could also bring in for the new warriors, Namorita, Night Thrasher, my favorite Speedball. Uh, I think Silhouette would be I, oh Speedball is so much fun. And I I know what you're thinking. That's well, what no, killed John I'm just Belushi, thinking I, but, I have I uh, had a lot of night thrashings when I've had a speedball. So um, that's back in the day, <laughs> Damien. That's back in the day, man. <laughs> that makes one of us. Uh, but hey, you know, put put it in the chat if you also have back in the day yeah. thrashed about on Let a speedball. Because we're not uh, fucking Valley <laughs> flying or casino or anything like that. We'll oh, call God. fucking Red Skull a Nazi. I mean, he fucking is, man. That's right. Goddamn right. Yeah. Because he is. Uh, but um, what do you call it? If you bring in uh, the New Warriors, you also bring in Namorita, which means you could bring in more Atlanteans because she is named uh, Namorita. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think she's... Uh, it's got a, a Mac yeah, a Mac Rune on top, yeah. if I recall. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I'd love to have Camarita <laughs> glazed. That'd be great. After a nice little speedball. <laughs> Anything's possible. Yeah, exactly. Anything's possible on Excelsior right. Gaming. Right. Anything and everything and <laughs> probably not much else. But I also, what's cool about the New Warriors is you could bring in a whole nother squad of, they're kind of like the, in terms of the comic, comic level, they would be on par with... Um, uh, America Chavez uh, and you know uh, mm -hmm. those those characters. So like the lower level mm -hmm. youngins essentially. Um, and if you brought in uh, the New Warriors, you could bring in a bunch of them because New Warriors had a, a fairly uh, mm -hmm. robust roster. Um, you could even bring in the Scarlet Spider, although curse on your name if you do. Um, but you could also bring in uh, let's uh, Silhouette, who's one of my favorite characters. She happens to be disabled and she melts into the shadows um which is which is actually really really neat um because she uh she has that ability it's uh, akin to what vision right, would okay, have yeah. um but yeah but that would bring in all kinds of you could bring in all kinds of dark force characters uh which is what i was obsessing on earlier so i still think new warriors is the most robust thing that yeah. you could bring into this game so but I will, well, I saying, I will I mean, stand for that. We do need a bit of a change in the meta because it has been like the Black Order for like, I don't know, like a year or something like mm -hmm. that. Best part of a year. Um, if you've got a beefy big mm -hmm. Black Order, oh, missies, then, then you're going to sort of rule the arena. You're going to rule in war, things like that. But with likes of Silver Surfer mm -hmm. coming in, he's mm -hmm. going to... He's disrupting that a little yeah. bit. I mean, I know my, uh, my symbiotes yeah. can go up against a half decent black order and sort of punch up on them quite well um sometimes sure. it just it's all about rng it's all about the the luck the luck of the draw sometimes um right stardust is pretty cool says jay funkarelli hi jessica um i didn't think we we're talking yep. about wrestling on here but yeah yeah i was stardust, wondering same um, yeah. yeah stardust was... was one of the most underrated Cody Rhodes, I mean, give him anything. He's just like his dad. Give Cody Rhodes anything, yeah. he'll run with it, and he will make the best out of it. I want to see. I want to see Cody Rhodes and polka dots. Yeah. I and think that would be that would be fun. 
But yeah, Stardust, uh, the Frankie Ray Nova. There's two characters mm-hmm. named Nova. Um, you could bring in Terax. Uh, you could bring in, oh God, what's the, and Jay Francarelli, you'll probably remember this for me. Uh, what's the one who uh, looked kind of like Triton um, with the, uh, the big head fin and was blue? Uh, but seem to control water a lot or energy see, like that. that that's, that's why uh, um, Damien's asking the audience for that because he knows I've not got a fucking clue. Not at all. Right? No clue whatsoever. I, I know better. Your, your well, expertise some, is in the some game. Would, uh, some would dispute <laughs> that anyway. But um, yeah, Tony Bing. Who's Tony Bing? I don't know. Um, yeah, right. So I don't know what else has been happening in the game. Um, I got a bunch of currency. I got a ton of uh, what was it? Raid right. currency, just out of the blue. Uh, and they agree. they sent me a message saying that an issue I didn't know about was resolved. And I suddenly got a yeah. whole bunch of green currency. I, I'm I'm rocking about twenty eight thousand in free raid shit, currency man. now. Free stuff, which is nice. Everyone loves yeah. free stuff. It's yeah, free exactly. Stuff has not actually affected you. Um, exactly. And, or, or if it did, it was in a way that I just assumed was well, normal. Th- that's the kind um, of which, that's almost you know. Stockholm syndrome with this game now. It's like um, you're so used to all the bugs and things going wrong that it's it's just sort of part mm-hmm. of the course. Um, yeah, kind of um, shrug it off. Yeah, you know, I could spend uh, one thousand one hundred twenty-five of that on a stitcher. Do you think that's a good um, purchase? I wouldn't say so. No. Unless you want to, I don't know. Where, where's my stitcher? At? I think he is. He's, he's probably he's insanely powerful. No. He's probably more powerful he's, than my Captain America. He's 97, man. He's got four fucking red stars. Four red oh, stars. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. My goodness, my goodness. And I could probably I don't rank feel him so up bad, to, yeah. I don't know, whatever. But anyway, yeah. Um, so you've got, you've got a whole load of uh, red currency. Um. I'm just trying to think mm-hmm. who is in. Mm-hmm. Oh, you've got Zemo, our favourite Nazi. Red Skull used to be our favourite Nazi, but now <laughs> Zemo is. Zemo's a great Nazi. I, I don't know if I could have a favourite Nazi. Uh, <laughs> everyone's got a favourite Nazi. Everyone's got a favourite bad guy. Well, okay. yeah, everyone's got a favourite villain. I mean, oh, I've got a favourite villain. Comes, sure. I mean, who's your favourite villain in the Marvel universe? Oh, let's see. Probably Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom, yeah, he's a yeah. cool one. So yeah, he is. And <laughs> and what I love about him is uh, he and Strange worked together at one point, and right. Strange kind of you know Doctor Doom rolled out the red carpet, said come back to Latveria with me, and he did. And he gets there, and everybody's there and cheering on Doctor Doom, and they love Doctor Doom. Uh, and he comes down. There's kids putting you know wreaths on his forehead and stuff like that. And and Strange like does a mind reading thing, and not a single one of them was like influenced in any way they genuinely love dr doom it turns out latveria had like broadband internet free college for everyone like everything in that country was great um it was a benign dictatorship uh and so i I really liked him because his idea was i need to protect my people to do that i have to take over the world uh so there's just like this this kernel of like you understand his logic so it's almost a kind of communism with love yeah, but it, with well, it's it's it's. I I would I would say it's probably the best version of a monarchy you could have. You know, it it struck me as very yeah. Roman, quite honestly. Mm. Uh, but most things do. So <laughs> occupational <laughs> hazard. <laughs> yeah, given your vocation, I suppose it yeah. does. Um, but here's a question for you. I'm sort of crossing over the the brands, if you mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. Um, because um, Marvel has a Doctor Strange. Uh huh. DC has a Professor Strange. Do they now? Yes, they do. I see. I, I don't mess with DC that much, but I do no. know that the guy who came up with Dark Seed uh, was the same guy who came up with Thanos. And if you look at them, yeah, they, there's maybe ten percent of difference. Yeah, they do look very similar. Yeah, um, quite so. Because yeah. I've got a, um, an a, an actual computer game that I play on things. And Dark Seed's in it, and I was like, whoa, that dude looks like fucking Josh Brolin, man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that dude looks like Cable. Um, yep, yep. That's another thing. There's so many people in the 
um, the MCU that have mm-hmm. played. I mean, as if they've only got like seven actors. You know, yeah, I mean, you starting, know what I'm going yeah. with this. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, Josh Brolin is Cable and mm-hmm. Thanos. Mm-hmm. There's so many more as well. There's like, um, what's his that's Chris Evans. Yeah, he not, was not the uh, ginger. Uh, don't forget your toothbrush. That's for our British viewers. Um, but the Captain America or uh-huh. uh, Captain, the Human Torch. Human Torch. Yeah. Yeah. Now this is because Fox. Uh, owned the rights to both of those characters and they made movies with both those characters and then the MCU uh, came at it. Oh, uh, Jay Foncarelli, thank you. Professor Hugo Strange. Is he the one who is the doctor at Arkham Asylum? That's the very one, yeah. Ah, my brother cosplayed as him and was spot on. Well, how the fuck would you know? You don't even know who he is. Well, uh, because I've pictured like now that you right. now that you know who it's John you're talking about, right. okay. yes, yeah, I didn't know him by name. I knew him, you know, by look. Right, yeah. So, but, but spot yeah. on. But uh, another another fun example is uh, oh, interesting. Thank you, Jay Funkarelli. Yeah. It's funny too because I did a podcast all about Batman, but I didn't cover the the comics at all. I covered the movies. Um, but uh, the the other one that I really like is. Um, Slade Wilson. Does he come on and feel the noise? Who is... <laughs> he, uh, as I recall, he is um, dead. Deadshot? All right, okay. I, I, I might... Yeah, in, in DC. And then in Marvel, they made Wade Wilson, who is Deadpool. Ah. Chicken or egg? Yeah. Yeah. So, it's... Uh, Here's a question. Uh, the Slade Wilson came first, actually. Right. So, uh, the DC version came so first. Marvel are just so. nicking all of... The, I mean, it's yeah. almost as if... I mean, one of our mutual friends, um, certainly more on your mm-hmm. side than mine, um, does accuse this game of stealing its ideas from um, a certain other game um, that yes. he happens to have an association with. Um, uh-huh. But yeah, uh-huh. fuck him. Star Wars you know- is for cunts. Um, hey, and that, no, and wait, that's wait, 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 really wait. gone, right? I'm sorry. No, no, I'm only uh, kidding. I'm only kidding. Um, <laughs> no, I, I'm I, not actually. I, I will say this: the years and years that I put into that game, um, not wasted. I love Star Wars. Uh, absolutely prepared me to be able to slide into this game seamlessly because the engines are remarkably mm. similar. So this one is a lot more colorful. I can share with my kids a lot more. There's a lot more diversity in the attacks and the defenses. I've been seeing the um, rosters and the people in, in an educational way. As as, as well, if also Star true. Wars is just full of middle aged white guys. But there's more diversity. Well, only the Imperials in, in Marvel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I'm in terms of like the actual attacks and whatnot, though, it's 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 a far more visually exciting mm-hmm. thing because in Star Wars you basically are shooting. Or using a lightsaber. Right. Which in itself is wonderful. Mm-hmm. And then I found this. So, and this one I can do. Uh, you know, the other Indeed. one, I'm I'm surrounded by people who are so many levels above me that it's not worth the discussion. That's the thing. I mean, it's not that I hate Star Wars or anything like that. I just, the ambivalence flows out me if that's not an oxymoron in itself. Um, <laughs> I don't know, man. I just don't care. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and here's a question for you. Um, Surely, since since we're not even talking about the game anymore, we're talking about DC more than we're talking about Marvel. Batman, <laughs> yes. Batman, is he a good guy or is he a dick? I think that he's Tony Stark without the fun part of alcoholism. Yeah. So a sociopath. That's a good assessment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He he is a bad guy. In fact, I I have about a. 15 minute strong set on why Captain America is better than Batman. Um, and it, it largely revolves around Batman's failings as a person mm. um, in general and how he, uh, he essentially, uh, you know, made fetish weapons to attack the <laughs> criminal insane uh, instead of just putting money into the local schools and making jobs programs for these people. Well, that's the thing as well, isn't it? That's, uh, uh-huh. What am I kind of thinking on it? 
Yeah. Hey, let's get back to this game. Um, Surely. Right, you've got, <laughs> you've got a whole load of raid credits. Right, so, yes. um, so who can you spend them on, man? You've got a decent few sort of characters here that will help you out with your roster. Um, yeah. Um, Cyclops, certainly one of them. Mm-hmm. Um, he's, oh, he's good then. He's a good one. Yes, yeah, Cyclops is good. Okay. Cyclops good is really know. good. Um, okay. Depending on where you are, hand uh-huh. sentry. Now, he is hand. Right. But he's one of the better hands. Again, he's one of those ones you'd rather fuck than fight. Okay, so he's like Mae Young and Mark Henry's child. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what an episode that was. Oh, back in the hey, day. That- that child grew up to be a hell of a hand. <laughs> Certainly wasn't a heel. Um, ah! But, um, I mean, that, that that's the perfect storytelling equivalent in wrestling of, and then I woke up and it was all a dream. Yeah. They just didn't know how to finish it. They just didn't. My, fa- my favorite part, though, is Mark Henry asking Mae Young, like, after they gave birth to the hand, why is that hand white? <laughs> <laughs> just this beautiful little that. subtlety. That's brilliant. That, it made it. It made it not quite as egregious, you know. I mean, it's still no Katie Vick, but it's still like, yeah. It was. <laughs> Why is that? That's cool. It was um, so good. I never thought about that. Um, but yeah, oh, hand, yeah. hand sentry. Um, if you're building up like, a really early kind of villains team, he can mm-hmm. sort of help out if you've got heavy hitters on your team um, and mm-hmm. you just want to make them all not get hit for a while. Hand sentry's all right. But I wouldn't particularly recommend them. Um, Is he the one that brings in mooks? Brings in who? Mooks, uh, minions. No, that's Nobu. Oh, okay. Um, okay. And he is just shite. Um, oh. There we go, Mysterio. He's a nice one. Yeah. He's a nice one for your Sinister yeah. Six. Um, Killmonger. He's a nice one to get in. Um, there he okay. he'll okay. do well when Wakanda's if you mm-hmm. if you fucking use them. Um, but also the mercenaries. Uh huh. Do well yeah. There. Yeah. Um, and there we go. There's our boy there. There's our boy right there. Ravager Stitcher. Get 99,000 credits. And I'm not spending Stitcher on one. Um, That's right. Namor for your Fantastic Four. Rocket, mm-hmm. if you're trying to go for Star Lord. Um, mm-hmm. Ronan, he's got his uses. I mean, well, he can get you Phoenix for a kickoff, he can help you get Phoenix. Okay. Um, villain Mystic Controller. Um, okay. So he'll help you out there. Um, you know, funny thing about Ronan, uh, my friend's kid wanted to be Ronan for Halloween a couple years back. Which one? And my friend, my fr- well, that was the problem. That's 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 the punchline, essentially, is that my friend was like, well, I, I guess. I mean, you know, and so she bought, like, the blue makeup and the this and the that. And she made him up, and he's like, okay, so I don't know why we did this, but where's the cool hood that I get to wear, and where's the sword? <laughs> Poor thing. Uh, oh, lost so in good. translation. Yeah, a little bit. Like one little letter makes all the difference. Yeah. You know? Celebrate versus celebrate. <laughs> so. <laughs> and salivate. Yeah. 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 Um, they get me or salinate. One... Yeah. <laughs> and master. Well, I don't know, man. Masticate. Yeah. And Mastodon. Is... Yeah. And what's happened so. to the stream? <laughs> I don't know. The... It's gone blank, people. It's oh, gone blank. Oh, goodness. What happened? Um, for some reason, um, yeah. They don't want us to see that uh, that Thor is available. That's what's going no, on. No, that Thor is so... I mean, are you still looking to get Thor um, yes. sort of upgraded? Yes. yes, he's a heavy hitter. Um, I'm also grabbing War Machine because I'm still trying to build uh, the, the team that my son loves so much. Oh, now you're back, uh, more or less. Um, I'm still trying to be, build the team that my son loves so much. Uh, which is uh, Iron Man, War Machine, uh, Iron Heart, Rescue, and Falcon. So power doing a armor. power armor team. The team that I wailed out on and yes, that English I didn't. <laughs> uh, you know what? Your kid outgrew the shoes that you couldn't buy because of that anyway. Yeah, so. that's true. I mean, it, it, mm-hmm. it, it taught them a lesson of um, of, of being slowing down. Slowing, yeah. yes. I mean, no one wants to grow. No one wants to show off. No one wants to grow that fast, do they? Exactly. Exactly. And so, I mean, I saw that in Castaway, right? So, 
And Castaway, you need to explain that one to me. Oh, he took off the dead guy's shoes, and then he found that they didn't fit, so he had to cut them open. Ah, so, yeah, that's right. Yeah, see? And then he got a football, or a soccer ball, and then uh, put a face on it. Volleyball. It was a volleyball. So a volleyball. Uh, see, it was, a ball that, it was a ball that transcended all the, all, all the sports. And it, oh, yeah. It, it, was, it, it, was, it was a universally recognized um, naming mm-hmm. of, of a ball. Well, and it was because originally that ball was going to be played by the star of The Graduate, Annette Benning, but instead they just made it a volleyball so it would go over Annette. Hey! Oh. Hey. That's why one of it's got a poncho and the other one fucking doesn't. <laughs> um. <laughs> you, you said it, not me. Yeah, I didn't say it. That's, that's the bone of contention. I didn't say it. I wasn't even on the screen at the time. You know, to your credit and to your good luck, you weren't on the screen at the time, though. Yeah. So I was just the one that put up a, um, a yeah. Bible verse. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, oh, Lordy. He did we. He did we. Yeah. Um, not as much as me, but yeah, there we go. Um, right. Yeah. So I don't know what's happening. Speaking of game. hand. Um, it is, um, is, is it loading? Is it not? Who knows? Um, it so is loaded. What are your goals for this week then, Damien? This week I was trying to build up my Sinister Six, but then I popped up to level 69. Nice. Uh, and so mm-hmm. I started running. Yeah. I started running out of currency uh, because I was leveling people up. Uh, but uh, my Sinister Six... Uh, Uh, I've got them largely hovering around level 32. So I took them through the first level of, uh, of the invisible woman. And I think that's about where it's going to end up staying for right now, to be honest. Um, and if that event has disappeared already and has it, I forget. Um, yeah, that event appears to have gone, gone the way of the dodo. A couple of days, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to go back to leveling up my aim team this week. Um, and just keep getting my aim team up because uh, I, I I got my scientist supreme. I actually unlocked her. Nice, um, nice. Ah, so and uh, she is now at tier seven, which I'm very happy about. Um, and she's at level forty nine. I've got uh, most of them hovering around the the high forties. So uh, I look forward to messing with other teams with my aim team because yeah. I have the researcher, the monstrosity, the security. And I think I might have unlocked a, th- a fifth AIM member, but I'm not sure. Um, right. If I did, it's way down. Oh, yeah, the AIM Infector. Uh, that that has been okay. unlocked, and that that would round out the team. So. Little word to the wise. Get um, Supreme up higher and get Security mm-hmm. up higher. Okay. The rest okay. of them, I will make sure. yeah, get those okay. a decent bit higher than the other three. And they will okay. carry you through. They will carry you through. And Fantastic. You need to go. Um, Thank you. I appreciate that. So yeah, that's that. That was my goals for this coming week. Um, although I did get to level sixty nine. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> so. <laughs> Damn too. Um, but uh, so I did get up to that. So I'm still pumping up my my ma- my main team. Um, mm-hmm. And I still keep switching out Scarlet Witch with Loki and Hela. I can't figure out the right configuration of those three. Um, so, cause if I keep Hella in there, then Scarlet Witch's power, uh, w- uh, stacks onto that yeah. because Hella gives a lot of negatives. Uh, Loki is great because he's a wonderful first shot mm-hmm. in that he gets them to attack their own guy. Mm-hmm. Very often two of them are attacking him so I can wipe out one of those guys like right away. So it's either Loki and Hella or Scarlet Witch and Hella. Um, and then I've got Doctor Strange. I mean, he's kind of coming up. Uh, he's about 20,000 behind uh, all three of them. But uh, he and Scarlet Witch are a fantastic team that I've found. So The Supernaturals. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. Well, just wonderful. the two of them on a team. And I want to see how they work with my uh, Thor Hulk uh, cap mix. Um, because if I can keep the heat off of the both of him and Scarlet Witch... Then, uh, then the two of them can just negative the shit out of the other team, mm-hmm. um, and then my hitters can come in and just start a smacking. So, right, well, that's yeah. the thing with supernatural. Let's have a little go at supernatural because they are one of the funnest teams 
that they you can are. have. Right, let's see what one that might not die instantly. These guys might not die instantly. <laughs> let's not sim it. Let's do it. Let's do it supernatural. Um, because if you get Ooh. Ghost Rider and you've got um, Elsa, mm-hmm. they will go first. In fact, let, let's mm-hmm. just hope for... Alexa's not supporting this. Alexa is not supporting the fact that we're doing this live on Twitch. <laughs> live on Twitch a lot longer than we probably plan to, but hey, um, it's only it's only a Friday night from me anyway. Right, yeah. so right, let's go straight down the middle, get some bleeds. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. cheeky, cheeky Captain Marvel. Um, but let's punch. Oh no, we can't concentrate because he's taunted. Right there we go. Um, and then so they've got what we've got on them. We've got mostly bleeds. Let's get some heal block. Yum 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 yum. All right. Um, it's mm-hmm. not too good because they're all dying. But if they had all positive effects, they're just getting negatives. And then let's extend them for right. one, and then you can basically just put it on auto. And they're done. And what I really like about uh, the Scarlet Witch is not only does she extend their negatives, she hits them with a piercing when she does that, right? Uh, don't have a clue. I'll be perfectly honest with you. Um, but that, that yeah, would be I interesting think she to have a little look at, which we will in a moment. Mm-hmm. Um, but if she does, then... Um, well, you know what? That, that would make sense because they don't mm-hmm. ever miss or they very, very yeah. rarely miss um, from yeah. from what I can recall. Um that's a mm-hmm. supernatural. And she and she can equalize health, which is really nice when you have somebody who's pulling taunt, because you can just have them continue pull That's taunt. It. But as long as she um, she uh, survives that long, that's all we think. There we go. Mm-hmm. Well done. Yeah, she's a bit. You squishy. are the man. Attack all enemies for eighty-five percent piercing damage. Mm-hmm. So it's the piercing that gets right through them at level sixty. Now. Yep. Um, but yeah, very well spotted, very well remembered. You've, you've obviously sort of, but that's the sort of difference, I suppose, between maybe where you're at yourself in this game and where I'm at. Um, mm-hmm. I just know she does nice things, but um, <laughs> but for yourself, it's it's about a juggling act. It's about having, it's about maximising and but... optimising your roster. Mm-hmm. And that, um, well... And... Yeah. These, this is what this character brings, whereas this is what this character right. brings. Which one benefits me most in this situation? Um, mm-hmm. Whereas I just go, just put them in. Ha <laughs> ha, you're level 69. <laughs> That's a bit rude. Um, and, and, and not give a fuck and sack myself off from a show because someone wasn't very nice on it. Um, I don't know. Um, mm-hmm. But always forgiving. Always forgiving. Um, there you go. Top to bottom, level level sixty nine has been a fun one. Top I tell to you. bottom, as long as oh. you don't drown. Um, let's let's go for Silver Surfer in that reference. I don't know, um, but for myself, what I'm looking to do is um, yeah, well, a long shot into <laughs> yeah. I'm just thinking level sixty nine Shatterstar. Oh. <laughs> Has anyone shattered their star on a six? No, let's not go down that road. And then next to it is a bloodstone. Oh, I, 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 right. I was going to say, Elsa's and then perfect for beast. that. Um, mm-hmm. a, a black widow. I'm sure that's the name of a, of a thing. And you do it close to midnight, so it's proxima, proxima midnight. Proxima midnight. Um, the speed that you were, well, that's not even a pun, that's just the words. <laughs> brag about having a colossus okay as long as you've <laughs> and some people some people are groom apparently groom appropriately so they have kitty pride yeah and some people are infected so as long as you've got an anti-venom and that's all right exactly and, and, exactly. and, and there, there's my boy there and um, some people have a hell of a time um but have you noticed my t-shirt tonight i have i have uh you have a, a carnage t-shirt yeah. Have you noticed I'm not wearing my... Uh, now, is there a difference between a jumper and a sweater in, in your guys' world? Only class. Ah. Well, you notice I'm not wearing my cardigan. 
I don't know what that counts as. But, well, that's yeah. different from a jumper and a sweater. Well, because jumper and sweater are the same it, kind of thing, that? but a cardigan's different from both. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, it's or my is cardigan. It or is it not? Uh, and I'm, uh, to us, a cardigan is a type of sweater. Right, because over here, I mean, welcome to Marvel mm-hmm. Strike Force with Damien and Ian talking all things Marvel Strike Force. Right, for us, a jumper or a sweater <laughs> is something, right, right. two, um, what the sleeves over the head, fully encompassing the body. Yeah? A cardigan mm-hmm. is the same sort of thing, a big slit in the middle, more jacket like. Mm-hmm. So you could open it up, a cardigan. Mm-hmm. It'd have buttons mm-hmm. perhaps down. down yes, there. or sometimes a zipper. Or, but yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Well, no, that'd be a zipper. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, that's that's the difference wow. between jumpers, stroke sweaters, and um, okay. cardigan. See, to us, jumper is just if we want to sound like you guys, and then it's a sweater, and it's either a cardigan sweater or a pullover sweater. That's that's about it. And that's different than a sweatshirt. A sweatshirt is a different material than a sweater. And that's, yeah, it's about like that. Yeah, I think I get that. Um, but if you want to sound more like us, stop saying aluminum. Would, <laughs> Do you know the one that really gets my goat in a um, in a What's Peter, that? what's the Peter Griffin type way? And um, herbs. Oh, yeah, oh, herbs. Oh, fucker herbs. Well, there are things that you eat with honor. <laughs> and there we go. Thank you, Damien Harmony, for that <laughs> wonderful <laughs> explanation. That's just beautiful. That is beautiful, man. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank herbs. you. Although some of your friends would call me Damien Armin, yeah. so not my friends, it'd be <laughs> your friends because we can pronounce our H's yeah, yeah. over here. H division. It's nice, but herbs. That yeah. really that um, that genuinely annoys me. That genuinely annoys well, me. Well, okay. Of of all the herbs, um, what's the one that is used in uh, in in your marinara sauce? Uh, do you say oregano or oregano? The latter. Certainly not the former. Yeah. Yeah. Oregano. So, th- yeah. I remember. <laughs> Welcome uh-huh. to Marvel Strike Force on Twitch. We were talking all things Marvel Strike Force. Um, my wife was watching <laughs> um, NCIS Los Angeles once. Ah. Um, that um, TV show with LL Cool J and the guy that used to be Robin. Um, mm-hmm. And somebody with a wonky eye. Um, but anyway, um, they were going to this North African country. And what was it? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to North Africa. We're going to Tunisia. 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 Fuck's sake. <laughs> Tunisia. In Latin, Tunisia. I agree with you. Okay. I agree with you. Tunisia, Tunisia. Yeah. And then I kind of phonetically yeah. almost just kind of went, I bet that cunt means Tunisia. Fucking aluminum, <laughs> fucking herbs. In oregano, basil. Fuck off, man! Anyway, <laughs> yes, um, long shot and uh, Shatterstar of them. Oh, you call him long shot. We call him long's hot. <laughs> because, well, you know what? Long is hot, isn't it? Let's face yeah. it. Yeah, and, and his and his son slash brother, uh, Shatter's Tar. Shatter, so he's basically a sledgehammer. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, they both uh, weekly, they go to see the rapist. You guys might call it a therapist. <laughs> I can't think. I mean, I mean, that would be some sort of um, superhero, wouldn't it? Um, let's face it. Yeah, that's we're purple, nearly man. at midnight oh, here yes. in the UK. Um, so, while I ask the question of Damien, how many people are watching? Yeah. Let's face it. Um, I don't know if anyone else is watching. We got three. So the theory well, goes. Well, I'm one of them. And I'm one of them. So, <laughs> so I think it's Jessica is the other one. Um, in fact, yeah. I think I've got my... Oh, no, there's quite a few masked ones. Um, this is going down... Remember what we were talking about before the show about sort of tempering our content for our audiences? I think I'm just about to Indeed. shatter, star it here. Um, if there... 
I don't know if I should. Well, I say it. No, no, you shouldn't, because we just got this thing yeah. going. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> well, you're the one that brought up that word. Um, I was just thinking, if there was one, who do you think looks like one? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say Iron Fist. He looks really dodgy. Um, oh, see, we call him Iron Fist. Iron Fist. I Ron Fist is is yeah. Well, because his power is that he's a white man learned a martial art uh, in Asia from another white man, and the irony is huge. <laughs> so it's ironic. That 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 works. So, I mean that that makes so yeah. much sense. That it could actually be, really? I mean, it could actually be convincing. To, um, yeah. Well, and see, that's my superpower is, is being able to turn dog shit into diamonds <laughs> like that. Like just give just enough, like, oh, that kind of has a logic to it. And then, and then I'm off. Yeah. And then you just go, you'll never guess what I told that idiot. <laughs> yeah. And come along saying, yeah, uh, rats can actually jump up and eat your neck. What? Well, um, yeah, but yeah. Oh, I, I have my kids fully convinced that uh, that uh, we grow donuts in the garden. So we plant we plant them every January. They know that they're a January crop. It's it's a lot of fun because uh, I can hear them teaching other people about it, and they teach with such conviction because they know they're right. Because their dad would never lie to them. Um, that in fact uh, their friends are now starting to question. And the irony is uh, that we don't do Santa Claus over here. At all. And so, you know, they know to, you know, not step on other people's mm. mythology, but also we grow donuts. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Giving with one hand and it's... Yeah. Well, people ask me all the time, they're like, how do you justify that? I said, oh, the donuts grow regardless of their behavior. Like, I don't tie it to some sort of weird manipulative control mm. thing. I just, you know, we're just having fun. <laughs> and and then people walk away suitably shamed. So, that's yeah. Different so, level shit, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like I said, I'm really good at uh, self delusion, so I can I can delude other people for for like a round while well, I get away. It. I mean, like, if you believe it yourself, then the, the exactly. convincing of other people is it's like you don't have to you don't have to have a good memory. Um, right. To tell, yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> if, if you're telling the truth, you don't have to have a no. good memory. But, yeah. That's also true, yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. Um, mm. uh, actually, uh, my my son called her Mister Q for a while. Um, I'm just looking at some of the characters that uh, it took my son a little bit to learn the pronunciation. Um, I asked my daughter this, um, and and this might be a good go home uh, segment. I asked my daughter the other day. I said, uh, "Do you know who Rick Flair's favorite agent of the FBI is?" And she looked at me with expectant eyes of disappointment, and she says, "Who's that?" And I said, "Agent Jimmy Woo." And she went outside and went to close the door, and she said, "Good day, <laughs> sir." And she slammed the door in my face. So who does she? She's yeah, eight. that is definitely the eight-year-old version of "fuck you, dad." For for yeah, fuck's it is. sake. Dad. Yeah, it's really more that, yeah. Because I'm definitely safe for fuck's sake, too. <laughs> oh. so, but if you're wanting Gamora uh, of this, then check out Excelsior Gaming um, on right. um, on Twitch. Well, it's not on Twitch, so there's mm-hmm. no point in trying to find it on there. Find it on YouTube, though. No, it's, um, it's We'll be putting yeah. up videos, kind of little sort of like, starter videos, if you like. Um, is uh, mm-hmm. Jessica still watching? Possibly. She, she is. Blaylock, yeah. too. Um, that yeah, my, my podcast partner, uh, Ed Blaylock, says that on the regular on our podcast. Ah, right. So he, his name has become a verb. So, um, yes. Yeah, so um, Jessica's been playing Strike Force while was listening to us. Um, maybe mm-hmm. we should get her on as a guest or something like that one of these days down the road. But Not let us idea. know, Jessica, yeah. um, either in the chat. Well, we're going away soon. Bedtime for me. Yeah. Bedtime and dinner time. Um, <laughs> she says no. Cook with some herbs. Uh, well, actually, then let us know. Well, that's the exactly. whole point, Jessica. Uh, actually, if if you could take a look at the videos that we're about to put up, because we're putting up a couple tutorials per week for the next few little while. So uh, and they'll come in mm-hmm. order 
uh, as to importance. And let us know if those uh, videos help you out, because that's kind of the whole reason we put them yeah. together is to help out early to middle character or early to middle yeah. players. And sort of the teams that you should be sort of concentrating to sort of build up and sort of free to play friendly. Um, exactly. Just sort of because I have spent some money on this game. Um, mm-hmm. Let's face it. Look at that. Silver. So I didn't get that by prayers and good wishes. Put it that way. <laughs> um, I got it by some nefarious means, to be honest. But um, but not prayers and good wishes. Um, but yeah, um, Marvel Strike Force um, every week on Twitch. Um, it will be streamed. Mm-hmm. This will be streamed again, or it will be will be streamed again. It will be available for viewer. It's getting too late at night for me, Damien. It will be available for <laughs> viewing again on our uh, YouTube channel, mm-hmm. Excelsior Gaming. It's got 99 yes. problems, but a stitcher ain't one. Um, it's got Ravager Stitcher there. Um, Jessica, I hope you're not levelling up Rag- Ravager Stitcher. Um, yeah. There are much better healers out there, hon. much better yeah. pieces of even characters that aren't healers are better healers than that one. Um, ironically, so. there actually are. Mm-hmm. There are actually. <laughs> Stick an ISO <laughs> on, I don't know, fucking Luke Cage of healer, and he'll yeah. do more healing than Ravager Stitcher. Um, oh, that'd be a fun one to one comparison. Not one that I'm prepared to do. Well, no, I, you know, and I, I certainly don't have the money for that kind of a thing, but I, I do encourage others yeah. to do it. So, uh, if people want to find you on the social medias, besides our, uh, YouTube page of Excelsior gaming, 99 problems, but a stitcher ain't one, uh, where can they find you? Um, well, the links will be down below in the YouTube channel. Um, Perfect. but it's at iMacPun, I M A C P U N. Because I tell puns, and my name's iMac, iMac pun, um, and I'll tell you what I'm doing on those kind of usual, as I say, Facebook, Twitter, that sort of stuff, Um, because I'm Mm. not doing something else anymore. Uh But it will come back soon, don't worry. Good. And what about yourself, David? Where can people find you? Well, I... Well, they can find me on one fewer show this coming week. Uh, but oh. Which, ironically, one of the topics you suggested was Indian food. Yeah, oh. That would have been good, though. And that World War Two was the other one. Uh, uh, <laughs> what? And World War Two was the other one. Oh, lordy. Yeah. Well, I figured you all would have like a better perspective of it, having been in it three years longer. Uh, but... <laughs> Uh, you can find me at Duh Harmony on most of the, uh, the, the social media. You know, you got stuff down there in the YouTube page, so it'll it'll explain most of that. Uh, but Duh Harmony, two H's in the middle. You can find me on the Twitter and the Instagram. I also make puns, um, and uh, I also have wondered recently why we haven't set an Irish jig to Inagata de Vida. I think that would be a fabulous spending of 20 minutes. So, but... Sounds fun. I wish That's you knew what those words meant. Yeah. But yeah. Um, it's fine. A barbiturate rock from the 70s. That's that fine. Barbiturate. Yeah, that's a joke. Um, yeah. <laughs> so. But um, yeah, this cool. has been fun. This has gone on. Fucking hell, man. This has gone on about four times longer than we originally planned. But. <laughs> We have in our show notes a 15-minute maximum, and and apparently neither of us uh, are having too little fun mm. to actually check the clock. Although, although so. to be fair, Damien, I think we have actually mm. spent 15 minutes discussing the game. You know what? Yeah, yeah. I think you're probably Another right. 40. You are. <laughs> yeah. We didn't say which 15 minutes it yeah. would be. Read so the that's, small print. That's fair. Before you click, yeah. I accept terms <laughs> and conditions read the shit. Mm-hmm. That's right. All right. Well, uh, for Excelsior Gaming, I'm Damien Harmony. And I'm not. <laughs> That's a good claim to fame. <laughs> Excelsior.